Good evening, folks. We want to welcome you to the midweek devotional tonight. Um, I have Sierra and Heidi joining me tonight, and we're going to just break some scripture down and just discuss it. So we just welcome you to join in. Um, you're welcome to post comments in, in, in the comments section if you have questions or anything like that. But um, tonight we're going to get into uh, the book of Matthew, and we're going to we're going to break apart a little section on, on roadways tonight. So feel free to just listen in and, and have a good time. Like I said, if you have questions, you can ask us Sunday or put them in the comment section, whatever it is. So we're just going to break down. So we're going to turn to Matthew chapter 7, and we're going to break down the verses 13 and 14. So those verses read, Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Okay, ladies, since you guys brought me this scripture tonight, we're going to turn it over to you guys, and I'm going to let you explain. We're going to start with the narrow gate and the narrow road. So... What do you believe the narrow gate and the narrow road is? Uh, the narrow road is, what, well, what it says is as leads to life. And I believe that's a narrow road as in walking only with you and Jesus or the Holy Spirit, however you want to put it. And just keeping your eyes focused on him as like just getting through that one road. <laughs> just that narrow path. Stro yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. And I actually want to bring up, my version is a little different and it reads, you can... You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and is, and its gate is wide for the many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is na very narrow, and the road is difficult, and only a few ever find it. And I think it's interesting how my version words it as the highway to hell, which, you know, most highways are very busy. They're, like, main areas that, like, high, like, groups are in. Mm -hmm. And I think it's interesting that it would describe it that way because, you know, obviously sin is very rampant, especially going on right now. And I think it really applies how easy it is to just kind of follow everyone else onto like this big main road. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, with the narrow road, it's obviously not, it's almost like one of those hidden pathways, I would think, when you go like in the woods or something, like... There's maybe a little bit of dirt, a few like weeds growing everywhere, but you can, it's almost like a little hidden treasure that you just kind of go through. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, do you, the, the Bible never states that it's hard to find. So do we, do we think that the narrow gate and the narrow road is hard to find? Well, um, I wouldn't say so, no. no. I wouldn't think so either. So why do you why do you think Jesus? I mean, these are the words of Jesus here. And why do you think he called it a narrow gate? And the, it says, "Small is the gate, and narrow is the road that leads to life." So why do you think he he made it? He says it's small and narrow. What what like? Do you think there's something hidden to it? No. Yes. No. Really, I would say, if anything, it's more because there's only one way to Jesus, or like to, to heaven, and with hell, it's so broad, there's so many like sins and like like ways just that lead to death. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you, I think that's what, what Jesus was trying to say here is, there's so many decisions that we can make and just walk away from God. It's so easy. And God gave us a clear path, that narrow, you know, this is what you have to do. And you're on this path. It's not hard. You just have to make the choice to go that path. You know, when you stop, when you get on a broad road, you know, like you said, the freeway, if you're on the freeway and you get off in the exit, that exit is a very small versus the freeway but you have to make the decision to go that way you know it's easy to just down the road and you can do a lot of miles yeah but do you find that maybe in your own lives is that the thing we struggle with we don't want to get off on the exit <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's almost like a 
follow the crowd type yeah. of deal. Because it's like like going back to the highway thing, like going on a highway, you, there's multiple exits like everywhere. You can see them, they're always there. So, and yeah. personally, in my life, I, I have seen times where I would be like, hmm, but this, but doing this is easier. Going the Broadway is easier than going down this little tiny road. So I guess <laughs> I'm not very, I'm, I'm guilty of like just going down an easier way than going down a, I, it, it may be even the narrow road is even hard, it's just the fact of thinking that it's hard. It's like, oh, it's small, there's not a lot to it, it doesn't seem like it's a lot. Well, it's a direct choice you have to make. Yeah. It's not just coasting along. Yeah. You're not, you know, it, like I said, those exits, you know, that, that's narrow. You have to make the decision to go there where if you're just in, you know, many of us have been on the road and, oh, we aren't paying attention and there's our exit and, ah, I can't get off. You know, there's people in the way and, it's, you know, it's just easier rather than cause a traffic jam to go on and, and not come back. And maybe we're guilty of that. Like you said, it's just easier to stay in that. But I think that's why Jesus did call it a narrow road because it's, when you're on that path, you got to pay attention and it's. Like you said, it's only too wide. It's you and Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you keep your focus with mm -hmm. Him, it's very easy to be on that path. It's it's not hard to, you don't get lost. You're on the path. It's very clear. I like how you said it's wide enough just for me and Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, but why do you think He says only a few find it? I mean, we probably know a thousand people that are born again. Mm hmm. Do you think it's actually a few? Probably not. If anything, it's more of a thing that people know about it, but they just don't go down that path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why like, yeah. I would say few would find it, because out of those people, who actually goes down that narrow road? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people acknowledge Jesus, <laughs> but, you know, well, I know of Jesus, but I don't, I don't want to go on the little yeah. path. Yeah. It's like, um, this is what all my friends are doing. That's not what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's 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 so true. But I think if we look at, I mean, if we look at the world population since the time of Jesus, I mean, if you look at how many thousands and thousands and millions, you know, Revelations records that it's a crowd that he couldn't number, so there's a lot of people in heaven. But when you look at the world's population of all that have died, it is only a few. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, and I think that's what, why it's so important for us to, it's not a hard decision, you know? It's never hard to go that. It's not a, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa find, the, find the path. Jesus isn't <laughs> yeah. doing that. He made it very clear, you know, he said, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and you shall be saved. So it doesn't, he doesn't say, well, for you it's that way, and for you it's this way. It's the same way for everybody. It's one clear path. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's narrow. Like you said, there's not different lanes. It's yeah. it's not like, you know, for you, you need to go to church every Sunday to be saved. Yeah. But for you, you only need to go once every five years. And, you know, it's, Jesus says, no, for to be saved, what you have to do is, is this. And he makes it very simple. So, tonight, um, as, as we discuss this, um, we want to encourage you to, to take the time to make sure that the road you're on, that you're not just coasting along and just agreeing with everybody. We encourage you, get into the Word, find that path, make sure that you're on that narrow path with Jesus, that your, your mind and your heart are set on that, and that you're making that choice that you're not just coasting along because this is what my parents did or this is what my friends did or are doing but this is a choice that I made make sure that you're the one that finds it because it says few find it only a few find it and tonight we want to encourage you to be one of those that finds that narrow gate and that is that is believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is the way and that he died for your sins. So tonight we just want to really encourage you. Um, do you guys have anything else you want to add to this before we close off tonight? 
I know you guys had a lot of notes and we, <laughs> we bounced this around a little bit, so. I don't know. I know you have a lot more <laughs> Well, I have a lot written down because okay. this is what I thought about it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I could. Because, well, we didn't really talk about the broader path. And okay. I did just want to point out that it, what I got out of it was like, it's a, not real. It says destruction and it's like fleshly and bitterness and forg- unforgiveness and things that you like hold against people and things that you get into like sin and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Oh, and that'll take you down in, a big road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, you it's guys have a few on. hours? <laughs> <laughs> if we get into this, yeah. No, I, I agree that's just with based you off so of much. Yes. That, I feel like that's based off mostly emotion though. Yes. Is the broad road. We're not thinking like what would happen if I had like all the outcomes in it. We're taking a feeling and trying yeah. to make it fact. Yeah. I don't, this feels good so it must be right. And yeah. it's not, it doesn't align with God's word. Mm-hmm. God says, no, I need you to do this. And that's why you're on. Yeah, that is so true. It's, it's so easy to, especially like you said, with unforgiveness and bitterness and mm-hmm. how that leads us down that broad path of, well, this is I feel right, mm-hmm. you know, and and it's emotion, like you said, it's yeah, it's not the fact of what really God calls us to be. Yeah. So. Anything else yet we want to throw in there? Um, uh, I mean, I don't. I know most of my notes wouldn't be strictly on this these two <laughs> verses, but next Wednesday night, these young ladies are going to join me again. So we're going to get into. Um, Maybe the Old Testament, maybe a little bit more. Um, if you want us to dig more, maybe leave a few comments. Um, but there's there's some scriptures that we've been looking at. Um, I've asked the youth to these for two Wednesday evenings in a row to help me with this and and to encourage interaction from the church. So um, just we just want to bless you tonight. We hope that we have blessed you and encouraged you and and strengthened you. And we just want to thank you for tuning in tonight. And we will hopefully. See you again on Sunday, and God bless you, and have a wonderful week.